Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. And as always, I thank you guys for checking out this video. Um, I was contemplating when I was going to make the video that I promised earlier, and I figured, you know what, there's no better time like the present. So I want to explain what I was told. Now, the way to do it is basically to keep it very simple. So it's something you could make yourself quite easily. And I just made a makeshift thing of, of what they told me. And um, the first, um, probably the first three or four hours, I didn't really feel anything. At least I didn't think I did. So I was kind of like, oh, I don't think this will work. And then all of a sudden, I started feeling energy. I started having just this, like my mind felt like I just shot it with adrenaline. Whether you want to believe in it, whether you want to take it seriously or not, I don't care. So to those who come to my channel to make fun and make silly jokes and everything like that, the time where that bothered me is so way past that because if you knew the things I've learned, you'd, under you'd understand that I just don't care about negativity anymore. I don't choose to have it in my life. But if that's what makes you happy focusing on me and using me as your way to feel good about yourself, then I'll be more than happy to provide that for you. So have fun with that. So to the people who really want to care about things that are going on, let's first explain this in this way. Now, we could basically all agree, I hope, that our brains are made of neurons, which basically are electrically charged. It sends signals, which as you raise your arm, speak, breathe, the brain is basically an electrical supercomputer. Now, one of the best conductors of electricity that we have, which is very affordable and very accessible, is copper. Now, obviously, you know that if you have any wires going up and down your block, you know that there are copper wires. You may not have seen them because they're insulated with rubber, but I'm assuming people understand these basic concepts. So... Back in the days of the Egyptians, and this, what I'm about to show you, what I'm about to tell you, there is no link for this. So please don't ask for one because it doesn't exist. So you can either try it or don't try it. I don't care. This is for the people who do care. So if you take a copper material, and I'll show you just this makeshift thing I made. I'm going to make a better one. And... Well, before I get into that, the Egyptians, if you haven't noticed, Egyptians are always wearing these headbands. You know, the ones that kind of the snake and everything, but it was always the royalty that did it. The peasants, the slaves, the common people, they did not wear these things. So it was always the Egyptian pharaohs, the kings, the royalty, basically, were, that wore these. They were not decorations. They were not decorative pieces, although that's what you're told. Copper is a conductor of electricity, and your brain is an electric supercomputer. So when you place a copper band around your head where the copper is actually touching your skin, don't ask me how it works, but this is the experience that I will share with you. When I, when I first wore it, and I went walking on the beach, and I actually just put it under my hat. So the way I'm going to show you, because of the one that I made, I didn't have the real materials to make it properly, so this is a makeshift thing, so you don't even want to do it the way I'm about to show you. But you can if you want to, but it's a little, a little bit heavier. But I put it under my hat, and I went walking on the beach. And I was wearing it about an hour or so before I actually went down to the beach because I wanted to see if this thing is, you know, full of garbage or actually does work. I'm basically seeing if this person that told me this knows what they're talking about. And trust me, they do. The first thing I noticed, because I've been walking on the beach the past week, those of you that follow my channel know that I do, I did the sun gazing, I was up to 45 minutes, and after that you do the seven days of walking. Well, I kept doing it because, you know, it's good exercise, and I enjoyed it, and my breathing has never been better. But one thing I noticed is when I wore it, I started to sweat a lot. I never did that when I was walking on the beach before. I've walked on hotter days than the first day I, I tried this thing. And when you know about sweating, sweating releases toxins. So I actually felt like my body was purifying my body. 
it was getting rid of toxins through my skin. So that was the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed was when I was sun gazing, and I've been sun gazing for two years, and if you don't know anything about sun gazing, please do not do it without research. I have videos that talk about it. Don't be foolish. But when I did sun gazing, I just stared at the sun at the proper time. You can't do it at any time of the day, and that would be it. Well, when I did it this day while I was wearing this piece, all of a sudden I saw it all over the sky around it. I felt like if you've ever tripped out on LSD, and no, I haven't. I've never done that stuff. Well, actually, that's not true. I did it back in college, and I'm 44, so you know, it's been a while. But you kind of see how colors change and everything. It didn't happen like that, but what I saw was like little tiny particles of light kind of twisting around all over the place. And I thought, I was rubbing my eyes, and I thought, you know, maybe that's just something I'm experiencing. But no, it kept going. Then... As I had it on for a couple more hours, there's all of a sudden when I got that quote-unquote download of the video I made the other night, all of a sudden, I just felt like somebody shot adrenaline in my body. I was talking faster than normal. I was understanding things. I was just connected. Because if you know anything about the universe, everything is connected. Just because you can't see the connections, if you actually look under a... Um, a um, ultraviolet microscope telescope, I believe. I forget what kind of light spectrum it is, but if you see space in a certain type of light spectrum, you see it looks like your brain, where it's all connected. You just can't see it. I felt like I made a connection, and that's when all of a sudden I started downloading all that information, and it just felt amazing. Well, I added something extra to this this morning, and I have a couple of ideas about it, like I said before. Um, it's just it's going to be very expensive, and I can't do it. So if you want to try it, if you have the capability of doing it, you know, God bless you. And if anybody ever is kind enough in their heart to make one for me, that's the only thing I'm asking for because I'm giving this away for free. But I added something to it, and when I put it on this morning, I literally felt I, the, the best way I could describe it is if you remember when you were a child, and you remember the day before Christmas, and you were so eager and excited that tomorrow is Christmas and you can't wait to get down the stairs and open the presents and you had that, that love as a child. I was feeling that like every three minutes. It was almost like pulsating through my body where all of a sudden my body would clench a little bit and it was just like a euphoria. It felt like the most deepest amount of pure love that I could ever experience in my life. I, again... You know, I'm just because I know the type of people that some of the people that watch my channel and I know they're going to be running away with that. But, you know, I really tell you, recommend you, even the haters, make this thing and find out for yourself and you'll see. But this is what I did. Basically, what you do is, <coughs> excuse me, you go, the best way to do it is to get, go to like the Home Depot or some store that sells um, copper, like a, a flat sheet of copper and cut it in a thin strip, and all you have to do is wrap it around your head. Now, you could make it, you know, like that wide, but paper thin. As long as it's going across your skin and surrounding your head, you have an electrically charged brain connecting to metal that is electrically charged. It flows through energy. So what the theory is, it's electrically charging your brain and kind of just speeding it up. It's like adding... Um, What's that special fuel to a race car? Whatever it is, it's like adding like a special fuel. It's, it's unbelievable. But this is what I did. I have, because I collect, you know, you guys know they've been following me for a while. I collect things like gold and silver. But a while ago, I've had these. These are one ounce, just generic copper rounds. So when this person told me about this, I'm like, you know what? I'll see if it's real. What do I got to lose? It's not going to kill me or anything. I mean, copper is safe. We use it all the time. So I was like, I'm going to make one. So what I did was I made a makeshift little band. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of copper rounds, as you can see, used duct tape to keep them together. So it's not the most attractive thing, but, you know, I was just using it for scientific purposes. And then, basically, I just put it around my head and just went to see what happened. Now, this is what I added to it. And there's a couple of things, because I got... Once I had this on for a while, I started getting ideas left and right. It was just amazing. Like, you feel like a supercomputer being, you know, somebody downloading in wireless Internet onto your laptop. That's how I felt. 
and I know about crystals, because obviously those of you who watch my channel know I talk about things like my Oregon pyramids and the power of crystals. If you don't know about crystals and you want to, you don't want to research them, that's your thing. You know, enjoy making fun of this. But what I did was I took a term, a double terminated clear quartz crystal, and attached it to one. So I made sure this was where the forehead would be, and that's when I started feeling that euphoric feeling. So it actually enhanced it even more. And then I came up with another idea, a couple of ideas, and I have to thank uh, my friend the nerd. And again, I can't say who these people are that they said what you can actually do is you get copper and you get some kind of mold, like a round kind of flat mold, and you melt the copper and you take quartz, crush it up, mix it in with the copper and let it dry with that inside, but you still add the quartz crystal on top. Make sure it's terminated or best double terminated because that's the most powerful quartz crystal. It's, it's all about energy. They used quartz crystals in the first radios. They attached copper wire to it, and it created an electric impulse. Well, look what I'm doing. I'm applying copper to a quartz crystal, just like they did with the first radios. I mean, like I said, just research it. So another idea, when I was talking about this a little bit more, is another thing that the Egyptians wore on those headbands were rubies. Well, obviously, I can't afford to buy rubies and stuff like that. But it does make sense, because if you know anything about lasers... Lasers use rubies, so that would increase it even more. And then I had an idea, because I also know that silver and gold are also conductors of electricity. So my idea that I thought of recently is, what if you take your copper band that you make, dip it then in silver, let it cool, and then re-dip it again in 24 karat gold? What kind of effect would that have? Because that would be the most superconductive piece of material that I can at least think of. Now, again, like I said before, you know, I couldn't afford to do something like that. And you don't have to. Um, you could just take a copper, what, a copper thing would cost maybe, what, $10, $15 max? You get some shears to cut it, and then literally you just put it on and put it under your hat or whatever, and there you go. And if you want, you don't even have to add the crystal. That was just my idea. But... If somebody out there who obviously has the finances to do it, if you get this copper, if you make a copper band and then dip it in silver, pure silver, and then after that cools, dip it in gold, I would love to hear if my idea of this actually does work and if it improves it anymore. Like the experiment I would tell somebody to make is first go around for a week using this um, copper part, see what kind of results you get, and then do the other part and see if there's any difference. And the only thing I ask is if somebody does it, the only thing I ask is if somebody makes that, if they can make one for me, I would be eternally grateful. But like I said, um, when I first got this information, the person gave me permission. They said, you know, you should make these into like, you know, like a headband and sell them. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to profit off of knowledge because the person that gave me this didn't charge me for it. They gave it to me freely. So I want to do the same for those who care enough to listen. So I'm leaving this up to you guys. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not telling you how to think. I'm showing you things that you're not going to get elsewhere. And I'm not charging you a dime for it. So if anybody out there who makes this and they, for some reason, have millions of dollars or whatever, that they can make the one that I talked about, because this is the ultimate one that I was projecting. You have the copper band with crushed quartz in it because you're melting the copper and then you put in crushed quartz all inside it. Let that seal. Then you coat it in silver, pure silver. And then when that cools, you add pure gold. Then in the center, you take a double terminated quartz crystal right over the quote unquote third eye and then two rubies on either side of it. Now that could be very expensive. So if anybody out there has the, that kind of money where it's like no big deal, if that works for you and you want to make one for me, I would totally appreciate it. But again, it's not necessary. Nobody has to do it. I just think, you know, that's a nice thing to do if somebody can do it and it's not a struggle. If you're financially struggling, don't you dare do that. As nice as I would appreciate it, I don't want anybody struggling. And that's why I'm giving this away freely. So again, you're not going to find a link on this, so don't ask for it. If you want to uh, research Egyptian history, they're not even going to talk about what type of metal was on their bands. 
Whether you want to believe in it or not is irrelevant. What I'm telling people is those that feel that this resonates with them, if you want to try it, you will feel most likely the same results I did. I just, another thing I noticed is I'm breathing, breathing even better, even better before than when I was sun gazing. In the past two days, I haven't needed an inhaler at all. And sometimes because I have cats, I still, to this day, I might take one puff, which is better than me. I used to take 30 to 50 puffs, puffs a day, which you're not really supposed to do, but it beat dying. So I'm just going to leave the video with that. I know this is a little bit longer. I know I, I talk a lot. That's just, that's the newer thing. You'll, when you start, like my other video, when you start using your opposite hand and you start doing things to expand the ability of your um, neurons to fire in a different pathway and you do this, be prepared to be feeling things you've never felt before. It's amazing. So this is what I ask. Please share this information. Get it out there. Because I'm not asking for anything for it. This is being done freely, and I'm giving it to you guys because I care. Uh, what you do with it is totally up to you. All I ask you to do is the right thing. Don't turn around and take this information and try and profit off of it, because then that's not fair. This is something that all humanity should learn. And if I learn anything else, which I, I pretty much can safely say I know I can, and, then, and please don't ask me the, where the information's coming from because it's protecting certain people. You know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know how I talk about how I hate the government. It's all corrupt and everything. Well, that's accurate now, for, but what I've learned is not everybody is out to kill you in the government. There are still some good people, but they have to kind of stay hidden because I'm sure you can understand why. And I'll just leave it at that. The other stuff, I don't think people are ready to handle it, so I'm not even going to go there. And again, it's protecting certain individuals who trusted me enough with information that I am just totally amazed that me just being a simple person that made YouTube videos, how many people have come to me with the most incredible information. All I can tell you is you have the choice of whatever you want your reality to be. If you want it to be scary and believe in monsters, if that makes you happy because it, it forces you to be good, well, then if you use it for a good purpose, then, you know, go with it. But things are not the way you think, and things are going to get better. It's just going to be the weak-minded people that are going to stay in that lower vibration where they're going to be scared to death out of every little thing. And I got another video coming tomorrow that one person told me that I, he wanted me to make for him. And it should prove how things get set up and things are not as they appear. So I got that coming most likely tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. You're going to find this very interesting, provided the situation that he told me comes to fruition. So you're going to get advance notice, and I got it directly from the source. Let's see where it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you don't agree with what I say, just uh, be respectful when you make your comments. Try not to insult anyone. And remember, guys, we all think our own way. So this is what I want to say from now on as my final quote. Have a happy ride. Thanks for watching, guys.